Before we start, make sure you stand till the end, guys. We'll explain how a simple mistake can make your brakes overheat. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair, guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a car, guys. It could be any car, uh, German, American, Asian, European, doesn't matter what it is. If you guys want to know why brakes are overheating, why brakes get hot, stay with us. We'll explain that in this video today. We'll explain what to look for. There are a few things that most people will never check, guys. And uh, actually one of those could be your own fault causing the brakes to overheat. All that will be covered in this video today. Make sure you stay until the end. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos guys. We're constantly getting new cars here at the garage, working on that BMW now. We got a Dodge Challenger that will be working. We have more than 15 vehicles waiting to be shot guys, so videos are coming all the time. If you need help with anything, leave a comment below uh, our videos and we'll try to make a video for your problem that way we can help you we can help other people without problem and we can build a community where we help each other if you need to buy any parts tools for your car at a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from guys and you can save a ton of money so we'll be demonstrating here on a BMW guys uh, that we are currently working on but let's explain what can easily cause brakes to overheat on your car now uh, we're going to talk about a single brake and then we're going to talk about multiple brakes overheating as well because it could be both of the front ones or just let's say one on the front left one on the front right so now let's talk guys okay what can cause a single brake to overheat first one thing guys if your brake okay disc brake roller is really glazed it's super shiny you have really old brake pads that are really old and hard guys you can see they're glazed they have that mirror finish you can see how the new one is uh, now that means that these brake pads are practically overheated done guys when you have really old brake pads pads that have been exposed to a lot of heat especially if you were driving fast slowing down a lot going through mountain passes okay it can bake your brakes and when those brake pads become guys uh, glazed like that they they will uh, require extra compression from the caliper to actually slow you down which will cause extra friction extra heat will be uh, created guys here will be made so as a result glazed pads glazed, glazed rollers can cause brakes to overheat when you do that sometimes you start noticing going uh, usually guys uh, when the brakes are getting hot you will start feeling the steering wheel shaking you can also feel the brake paddle pulsating as well now what else can cause the guys brakes to overheat you have two usually guys uh, glides right here for the caliper those are the glides that allows the caliper to move left and uh, right to actually uh, center itself and if those glides are really rusted they're really dry guys okay they're not greased up correctly that will cause okay that problems as well this is uh, brake grease here we'll have guys uh, video on the channel that explains where to apply brake grease and how to do that so you need to always guys in some cases you need to even replace these lights because they will uh, sometimes get corroded they will uh, get guys completely destroyed and that can be your reason uh, another thing that can cause okay overheating brakes will be seized up caliper or the piston right here will be seized up that means that when you release the brake paddle okay that piston when you press the brakes the piston goes out right but when you release the paddle it's supposed to go just barely a little bit in from the vacuum and when it goes in it releases the pressure from the brake pad so they're not dragging on the disc however if that one is seized up it will not be returning and as a result you will always have friction in the brakes guys and that will cause overheating so seized up brake caliper can do that we'll have a special video that will explain how to uh, how to fix seized up brake caliper how to uh, uh, rebuild it guys all that stuff check out video will be on the channel now uh, in some cases guys it could be 
uh, disc roller that's not even if the disc roller is not straight you have low and high spots it's called brake pulsation we have a special video about that what causes brake pulsation it could be your simple mistake causing that and when you have brake pulsation the parts will go up and down following the low and high spots of the disc and they will be practically just contacting only a few spots on that disc and you will start experiencing vibrations brake pulsation and uh, also your brakes may start getting really hot when you're going downhill uh, going to mountain passes uh, using them excessively they will start getting really hot really fast those are some of the most common reasons hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time